Now let us see some examples of negative work done. Since work done we have considered as Fs cos theta. Negative work means the force or its component of force is opposite to the displacement. Negative work means that force or its component, remember this point, is opposite to displacement. That is, theta lies between 90 and 180 degrees. If this is the body, body is displacing in this direction, force which is acting is now in this direction. This is the direction of the force. And this angle is theta. Theta is more than 90 degrees. Okay, between 90 to 180 degrees. Then the component of force, if I take it, the component of force will come opposite to the displacement. F cos theta will come opposite to the displacement. Whatever the angle here, greater than 90 degrees, we substitute. Work done is negative. What does negative work done signifies? Negative work done signifies that external force opposes the motion of the body. The negative work signifies that the external force opposes the motion of the body. Right? Now see in this example, he is applying a force. When he is applying a force and pushing it, the displacement is in this direction. So the displacement of the lawn roller is in this direction. But as it is cutting the grass here, there will be friction. The friction force may act in the opposite direction. Displacement is in this direction. Theta is 180. So as the long arm is pushed towards forward direction or towards left, friction force starts opposing it and external forces opposes the motion. Work done is said to be negative. Direction of friction force is in the opposite direction. So work done by friction force is negative. Similarly, we will see some examples here where we will take it up. When a person lifts a body from the ground, work done by downward force of gravity is negative. Earlier I have taken an example where the applied force by the person is positive. Now I am talking about the force of gravity. Just look into it. Now what he has done? He has applied a force in this direction. But this weight will be always experiencing a force in the downward direction. This is the force of gravity mg. Whereas the displacement is from ground to this position. Right? So what we have taken? Suppose this is the weight lifting. The person has lifted from here. He has lifted to this position. Displacement is in this direction. But gravity force if you consider. Gravity force is acting in this direction. Mg downward. So what is the work done? Work done is equal to Fs cos theta. The angle between the displacement and the mg is exactly opposite. 180 degrees. So this will be written as force is mg into displacement into cos of 180 degrees. So this will be minus mg that is the force into displacement. So work done here is negative. So work done by the gravitational force when the body is lifted up is always negative. When a body is made to slide on a rough horizontal surface, work done by the friction force is negative. Now we are applying, this is the body we say, we apply a force and make the body to move, displacement is in this direction. But as the body moves on the rough horizontal surface, there will be a friction force acting in this direction. Friction force is acting in the backward direction. So the displacement vector and the friction force vector are exactly in the opposite direction making an angle 180 degrees. So work done will be equal to Fs cos theta. So here we have the friction force into the displacement into cos of 180 degrees. So this will be minus F into S. So work done by friction force will be always negative work done. That means friction force is trying to oppose the motion of the body. So as I told you, the negative work done signifies that external force opposes the motion of the body. So this body is trying to move in this direction. Friction force is trying to resist it. So work done in this case will be negative. Work done by friction force we have taken. Friction force is negative. When a positive charge is moved towards another positive charge. So let us consider this is one positive charge plus Q. Here we have another positive charge plus Q. So what will be the force? There will be an electrostatic force in this direction. This is the electrostatic force. How much is the electrostatic force? 
k that is 9 into 10 power 9 k into q1 q2 both the charges are same here the distance between the two charges is r so coulomb's inverse square law it is r square so k q1 q2 by r square this is the force acting now what we have done here one of the positive charge move towards another positive charge now we are trying to move this positive charge in this direction so what is the angle between the force and displacement 180 degrees so work done is equal to f s cos theta here theta is equal to again 180 degrees so work done will be equal to f s cos 180 degrees so work done by the electrostatic force and displacement are this is they are in the opposite direction work done is negative by electrostatic force so electrostatic force between them in this example is doing negative when brakes are applied on a moving vehicle work done by the brake force is negative so as the car is moving forward when brakes are applied there will be friction force friction force will be acting in the opposite direction where a displacement is in this direction so friction force will obviously do negative work then because the direction of the friction force is opposite friction forces in this direction whereas the displacement of the car in this direction so angle theta is again here 180 degrees so work done will be equal to f s cos theta so when theta is negative the friction force here we take f into s into cos 180 degrees or negative work is said to be done work done by friction force is braking force is negative let us see in this example now the car brakes are applied see displacement forward friction force backward the car comes to stop right work done by the friction force is negative now when a coolie travels down the inclined plane inclined plane we take or staircase we take it we will say he is going to move down so in which direction he applies the force force on the suitcase is upward whereas he is coming down So the coolie, suppose we take it like this. Now he is applying a force in the upper direction. Whereas as he comes down the stair, the displacement is in the downward direction. So angle theta will be equal to 180 degrees between force and displacement. Work done we have defined F into S into cos theta. Substituting theta value as 180 degrees. F S cos 180 degrees. So negative work is said to be done. Okay. In this case, the coolie is coming down like this down the inclined plane the coolie starts from here now he has a suitcase like this he applies a force in this direction and he moves down but what is the displacement of the coolie as he comes down to this particular position displacement will be in this direction right so force is in the upper direction displacement is in the downward direction so force and displacement are in the opposite direction he is coming down this is the displacement whereas the force what he applied in the upward direction Force is in the upward direction, displacement is in the downward direction, both are opposite, therefore work done should be negative work done.